guys and welcome back to Clearview Driving. Today I'm doing another driving lesson with Lovejet. Now we've we only really did about an hour and a half last lesson mm -hmm. but he has got a little bit of experience um, mainly driving with his mum a little bit now as well. So last lesson we started off with mostly complete beginner and then we did a little bit of driving we managed to get out onto the main roads. He's a pretty quick learner so it just makes my life a bit easier. Now um, today's lesson we're going to be on the main roads a lot more so we're going to be doing a lot more of the mini roundabouts, like double roundabouts and looking at crossings as well. We've already been doing a little bit of driving this afternoon, so we were talking about the importance of pressing the accelerator, coordinating your feet a little bit better. So he did pretty well with that, but I'm going to try and get you to be a bit more independent on that. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching. Alright, you ready? Yes. Alright, let's get started. So when you're ready, <laughs> you've got my heated seat on. I was thinking, why am I getting so hot? All right, start the engine. Oh, and this is my nephew, by the way, which I forgot to mention. So when you're ready. It's a lot harder to teach family than it is to teach a normal pupil. Lover, you haven't done one thing. There you go. When you're ready, we're going to leave the car park out this way. Okay, and then it's a left and a left again. Now, remember, this is a two-way road, by the way. Signal should be on. Tell them where you're going. Really carefully here. Thank you, mister. Now, really carefully here. Turn the wheel the other way, otherwise your back tire is going to go over there. Turn the wheel back. Stop that. Is it clear? Because uh, remember, when you come out of here, you need to go forward and then steer. Okay? Should we go? Now, don't rush. Slowly go forward. Brilliant, and then steer. Alrighty, well done. So we're going ahead from here. Now, Lovej is not familiar with the roads around here. I don't think so. Do you know where we are? Okay. Well done. Steady. Why did it shunt like that? too fast. Give the, give the clutch a little bit more time, okay? Alright, right, should we try third now? Okay. What's going on there? Uh, what are you going to do? Yeah, and? Okay, well done. You've got to be careful because he, he's already sticking out a little bit and his attention was on the other side so it's better we stop than to continue at that point, okay? Alright, traffic lights, let's go left. Think about... Come on into that space. Why don't you drive over the bus stop? Me? Yeah. Keep going slowly, go into second gear though. Now keep going slowly, we couldn't stop there, okay? You waited until after the bus stop to move into that left lane. I was supposed to do it before. Yeah. Turn that off now. You're allowed on bus stops, you're just driving over it. You're not parking, are you? Alright, straight on from here. Now be wary of these lights because they've been green for a while. Rest your foot on the side. If you keep resting your foot on the clutch, if something happens, you're going to end up pressing the clutch down first. And that's when that coasting habit's going to come back in. Okay, so on this roundabout, we're taking the exit towards Chiswick. It's the third exit and it's kind of one o'clock or two o'clock even. So we need to be on the right to begin. Think about what you should be doing here. Just focus on the brake rather than trying to change gear if there's too much going on. Yeah. Okay, so, there's three lanes now, isn't there? Mm. As you go into the roundabout, there's three lanes again. So just go in and go to the lane closest to the roundabout, okay? Go into second gear. Now clutch up very slowly and just keep going forward to the lane closest to the roundabout where that white car just went. Good, now as you go round, your lane's going to start to split and make two. So we go in the middle one. So check left, don't signal, just move. Behind that Range Rover, that's where we are. Brake and 
Good. Okay. Was that okay? Now our exit's directly in front. Just be a little bit slower when you're releasing the clutch because the car's jolting too much at the moment. It's a really slow clutch. See, that was better than the last move off, wasn't it? Good. Okay, now that we're leaving this roundabout, check the mirrors. Signal that you're leaving, but you're going to stay in the lane you're in. Is anyone here? Keep that indicator running. You want to just keep the indicator running until you've exited the roundabout. It will turn off once you straighten up the wheel, right? Okay, I want you to take the next road on the right. Be careful here. Don't go in that crossing, okay? Gear change or not? Okay, we're turning into that road there. So, check. Signal. Don't cross the centre line, come back. Brake and clutch, stop that. Okay, turn straight away, just watch the, the bus lane as you're turning, okay? Make sure there's no cyclist. On that last road, would you say you were over the centre line a little bit? Slightly. Is it okay to be over the centre line? Okay, make sure you stay on your side, okay? Okay, at that junction up there, turn left, try this completely on your own. T-junction, just stop and use first gear. Like, I know the car's asking for third gear, but you've got to think, would I rather be in second or third for this? Because you want more control, don't you? Yeah. And then just check what's behind. Keep regular checks on that top mirror, okay? All right, now we've got our roundabout starting now. We've got crossings and roundabouts really close together. I'll guide you if need be, but I want you to try as much as you can on your own. So we've got the first roundabout. We are going straight, it's that way. Have a look on your right, can we go? Yeah, yeah so after the motorbike. Have, make sure you're having a good look and not just looking in the corner of your right, which is what we talked about earlier. Listen to it. And now, good, now we've got a bit of, don't get too close, we've got a bit of clutch control. Look, try and slide your heel back and forth rather than, yeah, get into that flex position like that. Now the guy in front's turning right, but we're going straight. We should be alright to get around him, so just have a look. Is there enough space? Yeah. Yeah. Now they should wait for you. Okay, well done. Rest your foot on the side. Okay, what do we have here? New rally. Yeah, is it clear? Yeah. Okay, because the cars in front are blocking, right? We've got a crossing, then we have another roundabout, we're turning right at this one, so lean forward with this one for sure, and signal. Now careful here, because you can't see until a bit late, so brake clutch. First gear, can we go? Yeah. Yeah, slowly. And now as soon as we turn, what is that? In front? Yeah. Make sure the girls come off, now look both ways, and then continue slowly. slow when it's a tight gap. You can go through, but just be careful with that van now. Yeah, in case he swings that door open. Okay, we're good. And that wing mirror is sticking out, so... Yeah. Anything else? Now slowly, I know we can't see behind the cab, so lean forward to look behind him. Yeah, that cab was in a bad spot there. Do you want to 
try these roundabouts completely on your own for a little while. I'll just tell you directions and I'm not going to prompt you and remind you of the crossings on them, okay? okay. So we're going to go straight on from this one. together we're going to do a right turn on the first one and a left turn on the second one. Hold on. So right turn the first one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right then left. So this is our first roundabout. timing on the first one was very late and the second one you would have forgotten. Very nice. The roundabouts were really good however, it's just that signal. You lifted the gear lever up. It felt like it dropped. <laughs> Don't do it. It's going towards reverse like that, okay? Okay, so signal timing. Are you going to be okay with the next roundabout where I don't have to remind you? really good. Well done. Anyone behind us? Yeah. Have you been checking? Let's start checking regularly, okay? Roundabout goes straight on. from you because now you're not putting the clutch down and you're not kind of reaching for the clutch first either. All right now turn left please love to. We wouldn't stop if pedestrians were waiting there. Agreed? Yeah. Why not? Traffic lights were controlling it, yeah? Good. 
man nearly wanted to walk through the car. Pedestrians are so <laughs> brave around here. Are there any questions about anything we've done so far? Any concerns? No. Okay. We've got some narrow roads to kind of practice down now. We're not going to go in the bus lane. Come on, move over. Check. You can't just move over with no mirror check like that, okay? Speed up a little bit here because it is a 20. Stay there. What are you doing? Is it this too far? Not full cars go there. No, no, it was one way as we turned in, okay? Alright, turn left where that lady is in pink over there. So check. Signal. Keep an eye on the vehicle behind. Braking a little bit and just turn in. Braking a bit as you're turning in. Come on, steer it in. You can use first gear if you want. Stay in the middle for now. I know he's there. Okay, now check left and come back. And then keep going. Was that okay? Yeah. Did that turn feel a bit fast? Yeah. Okay, so how do we control it next time? Before the turn. Brake no, latch. Brake clutch. And lower the gear. Yeah? And don't be afraid if you kind of end up stopping. Obviously try and do it whilst you're rolling slowly, but you can stop and then change if you need to. So that's something I want you to put into practice as we're turning into some of these smaller roads. Would you like me to tell you when to change gear or do you want to try it on your own? I'll try it. Okay, turn left. Turn left. Do you think maybe we should have gone in first gear? Yeah? Are you sure you're going to try on your own, yeah? What should we do with the van? First gear. Why are we getting so close to him, lovey? Yes? I was breaking. I know, but we're, we're kind of squeezing into him, aren't we? Alright, now turn right in here. Check your mirrors, please. There's a motorbike right behind you. I need you to know where he is at all times. Watch the cyclist. No, don't go before the cyclist. Brake latch. Wait for the motorbike. See what he's doing? Okay, carry on. We don't just cut across their path, okay? We're going to have to stop in just a minute. Um, keep going forward. Drive normally. Do you understand why I brake with that van? Yeah. Why? So I got too close to him. Yeah, so he was trying to get out of your way and you're kind of, you're slowing down but you're just getting too close to him. Brake and? Clutch. Yes, please. Because we're very slow and just let it roll. We don't want to be too close. Just use the car in front as your guide and just use the car in front, nothing else. Thank you. Secure the car and switch off the engine as well. Oh, bless you. <laughs> switch off the engine. Okay, so drive so far. How's it been for you? It's been all right. I've just found it hard turning left while controlling the gear. Okay, well, like trying to change back into first, that is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, everyone, find, everyone finds that tricky. What you need to do is, if you look around on these roads, can you see there's like parked cars on every single entrance? Mm. So on that road on the right, there's a parked car right as you turn in. And even here on the left, there's a parked car right there. Now we can't tell if there's anyone coming out of that road. So as we're turning in, it's not safe to just turn in second gear. It's better that we kind of slow down and switch to first gear here and then make the turn. Yeah. Okay. So with that, as you're approaching the, the turn, if you notice that there are parked cars or you can't really see into the road, mm. you're already down to 10 miles per hour because that's the speed that we normally turn at. Mm. Once you're at 10, keep the brake on, clutch down, switch the gear, and then clutch and then up slowly. slowly yeah. And all of that happens on the straight bit before the turn begins. Right. If you feel like you're overwhelming yourself or you're kind of doing that mid-turn, then you've left it too late. So do it earlier so rather than later. Before turning even a little bit, change the gear. Yeah. Get below 10 and then turn. Yeah. Because as you're turning in, let's say worst case scenario, as you're turning in, there's a car coming out. Mm. You're now slow. You can stop on the entry and they mm. can come out. Now let's talk about that van scenario. Why did I have to brake at that point? Even though I was braking, I, was <clears throat> I wasn't braking hard enough to stop myself before I got close to it. So, so you're braking for him, mm. but you're just not braking enough. Like... You're like, oh, well, he can get through there. Do you like it if somebody kind of goes, yeah, go on, get through there. No. Yeah. Let's give him a lot more space. We don't want to have, leave him just enough so that he just kind of squeezes through. 
Mm. What if his judgment's not that great and then he hits into your car? Mm. Yeah? yeah? Next time we want to try and stop to give him plenty of space to get around because we had lots of space. We kind of just needed to stop in the middle. Um, the roundabouts, you generally did really well with them. A mm. um, few things I want to mention. Firstly, the signal. Why is it important that we signal? So other people on the road know where we're going. Yeah, that's really important. Mirrors. Why do we need to check mirrors? So before uh, going on to a roundabout, you need to check mirrors. So if you turn, let's say we're going left, so you check your left mirror to see if there's any motorcyclists. And have there been any motorbikes around you today? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. They kind of just whiz through, don't they? Yeah. So it's really important that you're doing regular checks, especially when you are turning. And now, as, we t as we're about to turn into this road, I know we had that encounter where I braked for the van and then as we went forward, the cyclist lady was in front yeah. and you were about to turn before her, weren't you? Don't do that because it's their priority, okay? Right. If you make a mistake, don't, don't think about it. Just try and focus and then kind of do what you're doing and then we'll kind of stop over and talk about it later. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the main roads a little bit so we'll have some of the roundabouts. Mm. But then we're also going to turn back into some of these smaller roads where we're going to do our left and right turns with these roads with parked cars everywhere. Mm. Should we do this where I will tell you to switch down to first gear or do you want to try and just switch on first on your own? I want to try and switch into one on my own. Okay, just before you do, I want to just mention when you're fast and you try and change gears, it's going to feel like it's very tough. It's not changing. Mm. So don't use any force on the gearbox. It just means that you're too fast to be switching. So you just need to bring your speed Slow down. down That's it. So your speed should be a little bit slower and then the gear will go, go straight in. Alright, All right, start the engine. And let's move off. Start your checks from this side, okay? It is a busy area. Okay, maybe just ignore Massey. <laughs> did you hear what I said? Yeah, check. Did you check your left? I did. Blind spot? No, not blind spot. Oh, okay. Okay, at the end of the road, turn left. Well done, really well done there. You're right there. Can I go? Um, no, yeah, you can go now though. What happened to stopping behind the giveaway line? Is that not a thing? I stopped and then I went forward to check. Oh, okay. With the traffic flowing on the main road. Yeah? Don't do that, that's silly. Speed up a little bit, we can use the bus lane. But I don't know if you checked that, did you check it? <laughs> Speed up. <laughs> go into third gear, come on, it's a bus road, it's dirty around here. <laughs> don't worry, just go in the bus lane without checking. Okay, so now we've got our two roundabouts. I'm gonna suggest that you move out of the bus lane because we need to go ahead at the roundabout. And you have to be in the right hand lane to go ahead. Okay, now that there's a roundabout approaching, think about what you need to do before the roundabout. Did you notice that motorbike only put his indicator on as he got into the roundabout? Yeah, go a little bit quicker. Now, at this roundabout, turn right. So, turn right. Alright, very nice. Managed to take a, quite an easy gap there. That red car didn't move and we just managed to enter without stopping. Turn left.
turn left. Slow down a lot more this time and change gear here. Oh, more, more braking. More brake, more brake. Does it not feel like it's too fast? What if there was a car coming? You're kind of just slowing down enough to go into first gear. You're not kind of expecting a car in front. We're getting quite lucky with this at the moment, okay? Be careful. Alright, we've got one more attempt. Speed up, normally. Drive. Second gear. We're on the main road here, yes? Alright, on the next one I'm going to talk it through with you. Because you're not braking enough at the moment. Okay, we're going to turn right in there. So mirrors and signal. Start braking now. Stay nice and straight. Brake and clutch. A lot more braking. Now first gear, come off the brake, lean forward, don't turn. You can't see into the road. You have to be on the left as you turn in. Does that make more sense? Yeah. And I know that might feel like it's too slow, but you've got to be turning into these roads as if there's a car, and then you kind of deal with You don't really know what's going to come from. Exactly. Do you want to try another one on your own now, without me talking it through? Yeah. Turn right, please. Was that better? That was really good. Thank you. Just here, before the um, junction actually. Mirrors, signal, keep going. Use the car in front as your guide. I know you can't see the pavement. Move away slightly. Move away. It's the leaves. There's so many leaves there. It just, you haven't hit the pavement. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right, switch off the engine. Okay, all right, that's the end of your driving lesson. You can take a few seat belt and relax a little bit now. Okay, so how was today's drive? It was all right. I just found it hard turning it like left and right into roads. Because we're on the small roads, we're kind of going from main to side. Mm. And that's the tricky bit where you have to slow down your speed and change gear. But for now, what I want you to do is to try and slow down more, then switch, the look turn. in and turn, yeah. Because I know we've didn't, we didn't really have any traffic on yeah. coming as we're turning, but you've got to always turn as if someone could be there. I yeah. want to make sure it's clear. Because then you're not caught off guard, nothing happens. Mm. Whereas if you turn into a road a bit fast and someone is there, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay? And don't risk cutting a corner when you're doing a right turn, ever. Okay? So always go forward and then turn right when you know you're going to be in the left lane. Yes, you always want to turn on the left on the new road. Okay? okay. All right, that's the end of our driving lesson. Now, next lesson, uh, probably do a bit more practice on these smaller roads, but I'm going to hopefully get your mum to practice with these roads with you a little bit as well. But yeah, make good progress today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully that video has been useful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>